Hi everyone, Charles here for MLU Papers and today we are in front of one of the landmarks of Tokyo, Tokyo Station, because we are going to a machine learning summer school, the MLSS 2024. And this year it takes place in Okinawa, Japan, so we'll be going soon and I will show you everything that we see from a participant's perspective, from the banquet to the poster sessions to the various activities and the various facilities on a campus. It will take place at the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology, OIST, or OIST for short. So before we go, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of the next video. I really appreciate the support and let's not waste more time. Let's go to Okinawa. Hi everyone. So we are heading for the Machine Learning Summer School in Okinawa. So we're here in Haneda Airport and we're going to be boarding soon. The summer school typically lasts between a few days up to two weeks. The average summer school is probably around a week, give or take. In the case of the MLSS, it is on the longer side of its two full weeks. During this time, you are going to have lectures in the morning and the afternoon on a wide variety of topics. In our case, we had lectures on fields as diverse as pack bias bounds, reinforcement learning, online learning, deep learning theory or causality to only name a few. Lecturers are all experts in their fields, and we had a chance to hear lectures by Pierre Alquier, Arthur Gretton, Francesco Rabona and Amy Zhang, among many others. In the evening, we often had a poster session where we present a poster on one of our recent works and explain it to others. This is where you will meet people who work in the same field as you and to connect with them. So that's clearly a great opportunity to start a collaboration with them. To have some more fun, you can even vote for your favorite poster and the top three posters which receive the most votes will receive the best poster award. And I was very lucky and happy that I received the best poster award this year for my work on the survival bandit problem. All right, everyone. So this afternoon is very beautiful weather and we are on the campus of the OIST, the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology. As you can see, they have a beautiful park and facilities which are even more beautiful. I'm thinking of wonderful laboratories, wonderful places, cafeterias for food and restaurants. So this afternoon, I'm going to take you with me and we're going to have to make a tour together. Let's go. The OIST is actually very recent as it welcomed its first students in 2012, barely 10 years ago. The environment is clearly very international and the research and the lectures are conducted entirely in English. More than half of the faculty and around 80% of the students are international. There are also many visiting researchers from outside of Japan and I've had a chance to meet a few of them while walking on the campus. Another striking fact is that the facilities are extremely modern and new and to be honest, the laboratories that I saw there are probably the nicest ones that I have seen in my entire life. And no, my YouTube channel is not sponsored by OIST. Besides, there are many green spaces on the campus and it feels very relaxing to be there and take a stroll between two lectures. The only downside to the OIST is that while the campus is amazing, there is not much going on around the campus, so if you want to go out at night and have dinner with your friends, it's not ideal. Now, an important point about the summer school is that it is not a prison camp. I have personally really enjoyed it and it was the same for the other people I talked to. There are many coffee breaks between the lectures to process the huge amount of information that we receive. And of course, you will only attend the lectures that you are interested in. I personally try to attend all the lectures and I think that you may find new research ideas or interests in topics that you may not have even considered in the first place. But there again, the program is really dense and there is no pressure at all if you want to skip a few of them. Finally, we often met with other students in the evening and had a chance to go and have dinner or even a drink which can be reminiscent of hydroalcoholic gel or be non-alcoholic if like me you are a person who enjoys cranberry juice. But the key message is that you're going to make a lot of friends in a very informal setting and you're going to love it. I have met some of those new friends back in Tokyo and I am sure that I will have the chance to meet them again in the near future. Now you heard my opinion, but let's have the opinions of some other participants who nicely accepted to answer to my questions. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yes, uh, so my name is Shomu Mukherjee. I am uh, from India and I am currently pursuing my PhD in statistics at Pennsylvania State University in the US. Hi, I'm Marta. I'm from Germany and I'm a PhD student in my fourth year at the Hasselblatt Institute in Potsdam. My first name is uh, Pavodi. I'm from Congo and I'm doing my PhD here in Japan at the University of Tukuba. So is it your first time coming to a summer school? Yeah, sure. Uh, this is my first time to attend a sum summer school. It's actually my second time. So I went to another summer school uh, in, in the US before. Actually, it's my second time. I've been already to one, I think, two years ago. 
uh, but it was a completely different direction. I'm a computational biologist and that was more of a focus in that direction and here it's mostly machine learning. So why did you come to summer school this time? One of the reasons was actually because it's in Japan and I <laughs> wanted to go at least once during my PhD to Japan Fair but enough. also because I, the summer school was recommended to me. As far as I have been told by my friends and my like uh, peers uh, at my university it's basically a great opportunity to learn like new topics especially like if you are not able to read a lot of papers on your own so there kind of at any summer school like there will be like a series of lectures and like hands-on sessions to teach you like coding as well as like some math if you want to do theoretical machine learning research so it's like a great opportunity to learn new things in a very short time the reason I came to the summer school in machine learning is that my research involves neural network and I also saw that the program was very interesting and I kind of like say, okay, let me try and see what, what is going to happen. So Did you have the opportunity to speak to other people in your field and try to make some collaborations? Yes. So I actually spoke to like quite a few other students uh, and to like a few professors as well. And uh, currently I am thinking of uh, getting like an internship or research day opportunity here in Japan coming out of this collaboration. I had a great opportunity to interact with a lot of people from various uh, research backgrounds, not specifically in my research, but very related research topics. So I interacted with a couple of people that gave me a lot of insight on how they conduct their own research and then I uh, also learned a lot in return. That really allowed me to see my research from a rich perspective and angle and then I'm very happy about it. Did you also have the opportunity to speak to people in different fields? Yes, definitely. I mean, it's very, like, very, like, variety of topics is here quite large and especially those people who had really nice easy posters could explain me their topic quite well, so I learned definitely some new, t new f uh, topics. I got to learn a lot of, like, new topics from them I didn't even hear about before. Why should we go to a summer school, like for our viewers? Um, I mean, compared to conferences, you have mostly PhD students here. So it's not that scary like conferences, especially like first or second year PhD students have the opportunity to, to chat with their peers um, outside of, of like very pressuring uh, atmosphere. So it's a bit more easy and it's a good start definitely. But also for for a later career, some of us will be maybe professors later. So you meet your future colleagues and uh, might meet people who you can collaborate with. You learn so many things, not only in terms of uh, machine learning, but also interacting with people gives you a new window of opportunity for your research. How is like the atmosphere at the summer school? Yes, it's like very lively and very friendly. Like you basically get to visit like different places around the summer school, like uh, with groups of friends. Uh, you get to try out like like basically go out at the beach. You get to try out new places uh, for food. Is it like a prison camp or is it? No, <laughs> it's amazing. We go out a lot. We have fun. Uh, and since we are here next to the ocean, we have also a lot of outdoor activities. It's, it's actually quite cool and uh, also sometimes relaxing. The atmosphere is great. Uh, and I'm glad that this summer school is taking place in Okinawa, which is a very nice environment. People are so open. So this allows me to interact with people from various backgrounds, from various uh, places around the world. If you have the opportunity, would you go again to a summer school? Yeah, sure, sure, I would go again. I would love to, <laughs> but yeah, since I'm quite at the end of my PhD, I still have like one to two years left, but rather focusing on my research, but I would love to. Overall a good experience? Overall a very good experience. If you had to do it again and if you have the opportunity, are you going again? Yes, of course. Back to Tokyo. So I really enjoy the machine learning summer school. And of course, if I have the opportunity, I'd definitely go again. Overall, I would say that the machine learning summer school is three things. Number one, it's a great way to learn a lot of things on a huge diversity of topics via both the lectures given by experts in their fields, but also the poster sessions where I had the opportunity to talk to many students, postdocs and so on, who are going to share a lot about their research topic. Second, the Machine Learning Summer School is also a great way where you can make new research collaborations and find new opportunities for internships, for example, but also to have like collaborations online and maybe to visit those people that you've collaborated with. And finally, last but definitely not least, that's a great way to make new lifelong friends. If all of those people 
you're going to have hangouts during the evenings and have nice drinks, nice foods, talk during the lectures in a very informal setting. So overall, a great experience. But all right, that rounds out our vlog to the Machine Learning Summer School in Okinawa. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified of the next video. I'll upload new content every week or every two weeks, so stay tuned. Thanks again so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful week, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.